Hello everyone, this is Jess Robinault. I'm Product Manager for Modine Geothermal Systems and today we're going to talk a little bit about the controls package you can find in our geothermal heat pumps. Uh, we've called this the Modine Control System. It is a Corel programmable logic controller based system. Uh, we have been using this particular platform for over a decade in our other products, whether it's school products or commercial ventilation products, or even products that we produce uh, out of our Airedale brand facility out of Leeds, England. Uh, we have a, a very dedicated support system for this platform. Uh, it is very simple to set up for an end user or a contractor and it's a highly durable and robust platform. Some of the things, uh, great features of this platform are that it's easy to expand. There is uh, communication flexibility right away with the controller. We have BACnet and LAN capabilities with a communications card. Software upgrades are a simple procedure requiring only a smart key, uh, which you can see on the right side of the window there. And there's minimal differences to the installer by our pro by product type of uh, heat pump. So all the connections for an installer are made on the, th on the unit terminal strip. Uh, they do not actually touch the controller at all. So the base platform here is the uh, Corel Pico 1 controller. You can see it on the right-hand side there. Uh, there is no display with the system. No commissioning or setup aside from freeze protection if a heat transfer fluid other than water will be used with the system. Very simple thermostat and or aquastat control depending on the type of system that would be used. And forced air zoning is done through an accessory panel whether that's a Honeywell, an Arzell, uh, or any other brand of zone panel, uh, as long as it has thermostatic outputs to control the equipment, it can be used with our system. Wiring connections are very simple. Uh, here are a few different connections for forced air units. We use a standard four heat, two cool thermostat, uh, two stages for the compressor, two stages for the auxiliary electric heat, uh, split systems are very similar. Uh, there are no uh, special communication cables required to go between the unit and the air handler, just standard thermostatic signals. Combination forced air and water to water systems, uh, very similar. They use a standard for heat to cool thermostat as well as a heating aquastat to control the hydronic uh, tank. Water to waters, We'll use one aquastat or contact for each stage and conditioning mode. So you could potentially have up to four aquastats on a system. Controller inputs. Um, all of the safety devices are wired back to the unit terminal strip for easy voltmeter troubleshooting. You can see a list of, of all of the different uh, safety devices on the unit there. All of the thermostatic inputs uh, that are wired back to the controller are shown as well. We do not pass through the fan call signals. Those are wired directly to the uh, fan motor. Aquastat inputs are also wired back to the controller. Outputs for the controller. Uh, we have an alarm output that would go to an L terminal on a conventional thermostat or to uh, an alarm terminal on a uh, water to water zone controller or boiler controller. Uh, the compressor low and high speed signals are also generated from the controller as well as the reversing valve and hydronic pump if equipped. And as I mentioned, the fan and electric heat signals are connected directly to the fan and don't pass through the controller. And what that means is there's no variability on the fan speed or air volume. Uh, however, we do use ECM motors, so those will uh, provide constant airflow uh, for your application. 
The only installer configuration required other than connecting the wires are to, is to set the freeze protection. Uh, there is a picture of our freeze protection controller. We've been using this for a number of years on our school products. Uh, it's a very durable and accurate and robust controller. Uh, it is set to water protection from the factory, which is 40 degrees F, uh, and that can be adjusted in the field by simply rotating the black knob until the dial reaches the desired position for the percent and type of antifreeze that's in the ground loop. Troubleshooting is extremely simple for these systems. Uh, shown on the right is a typical water-to-water -water control panel. Uh, all of the safety devices are wired back to the terminal strip for very easy voltmeter troubleshooting. High and low voltage terminals have been separated for easy installer identification. The block on the top in this instance is the low voltage connections. The block on the bottom right hand corner is all of the high voltage connections. An accessory display is available for purchase with the systems. Uh, this is mainly for very basic information. Uh, alarm messages with the timestamp, all of the alarm messages that we will show are, are displayed here on the slide. Um, it will also give an installer system operation and status. Uh, basically just a confirmation of what they can see with their voltmeter. Uh, the status of the inputs and the status of the outputs. Um, however, this display, this display is required for ENERGY STAR most efficient installations. If you have any questions about anything that you've heard today on the video, please contact your local Modine Geothermal representative. You can find them by going to modinehvac.com and clicking on Find Dealer. Thank you for your time today.